Like tree roots reaching out and giving strength and nourishment to nature's most beautiful things, the lymphatic system supports the life force of the human body. It is integrated into virtually every tissue and organ in the body and is vital to the health of every individual. All of our body tissues are dependent upon lymphatics to drain fluid. And when that doesn't happen, the fluid accumulates and the tissues don't function properly. The organs don't function properly. It can be the gut, it can be the heart, it can be the lungs. For people affected by lymphatic disorders and diseases, this can be hard to understand, especially when the situation can be chronic, progressive, disfiguring, and potentially fatal. The effects can be devastating. The most prevalent of the lymphatic disorders is lymphedema, which can develop as a complication of other causes or from inherited errors in lymphatic formation and development. While lymphedema has been under-recognized and under-addressed despite its prevalence, lymphatic malformations and other lymphatic diseases have received virtually no attention. A very important system in our body is the lymphatic system, as it was explained on the short video. This system, as many others, have many different diseases. A specific characteristic of the lymphatic system disease is that they are very noticeable, are easy to see, but they are not too easy to treat. One of the most dangerous diseases related to the lymphatic system would be lymphedema, which was treated and first diagnosed about 2500 years ago in old Egypt and the other neighbors Punt. The history of the disease first depicted in an Egypt temple at the Carp into a tombstone wall nearly 3500 years ago. Here an Asian artist have recorded and celebrated voyage of the Queen of Egypt to the neighborhood country of Punt in what is now coastal Somalia. She is greeted by the Prince of Punt and his wife, the Princess Ati, who according to the paintings and hieroglyphics suffered from a serious disease condition, lymphedema, bags of flesh hung from her arms, thighs and the only joints of her arms and ankles are visible. In the austere view of the early Egyptians, it was enjoyment of meals that was the source of her pain. Eating with pleasure resulted in a poorly digested food, a toxic potion called pain and slime, and flooded the body with illnesses of all kinds. This is the very beginning of lymphedema, from in which many Greek philosophers and modern scientists have talked about. Lymphatic filiaris is a disease in which parasitic ones infiltrate the lymph system via the bite of a mosquito. Lymphatic filiaries affect 120 million people worldwide. People who develop lymphatic filiaries usually do not exhibit any symptoms. People may develop swelling of the breast, legs, or genitals because the lymph fluid begins to collect if the worms obstruct the vessels. Skin may become thick and hard, called elephantiasis. In some cases, lymphatic filiaries can lead to pulmonary tropical eosinophilia syndrome, a condition characterized by wheezing, shortness of breath, and cough. Mesentric lymphadenitis refers to the lymph node inflammation that occurs as a result of an intestinal infection. Symptoms of mesentric lymphadenitis include stomach pain that is located in the lower right side of the stomach, a fever, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fatigue. This disease affects children and adolescents. It may be mistaken for appendicitis because it presents similarly to mesentric lymphadenitis. Castleman diseases. There are two main types of Castleman diseases, localized and multicentric. Localized Castleman disease affects only one set of lymph nodes. Specifically, it affects the lymph nodes of the stomach and the chest. Stomach pain or pressure and troubled breathing are some symptoms. Multicentric Castleman disease affects greater than one region of lymph nodes, as well as lymphoid-containing organs such as the spleen. Symptoms of this disease include fevers, weight loss, sweating, night sweats, and fatigue. Multicentric Castleman disease can also cause numbness and weakness that result because of nerve damage. Lymphangiomas are uncommon congenital malformation of the lymphatic system that involve the skin and subcutaneous tissues. Lymphangiomas can occur anywhere in the skin and the mucous membranes. In the case of lymphangioma circumscriptum, the underlying lesions constitute abnormal dilated lymph vessels involved, involving the upper part of the dermis. Lymphangioleomyomatosis affects women only. It mainly involves the lungs where, as its name suggests, it is characterized by progressive hemoptosis, pneumothorax, and callus pleural effusions, and runs a variable course culminating usually in respiratory failure. The disease usually arises spontaneously, although it also occurs in some patients with tuber tuberous sclerosis. 
treatments. Lymphatic filiaries. Treatment includes taking a medication called diet caloramarize. This medication will eliminate the parasitic worms. Mesentric lymphadenitis. Typically mesentric lymphadenitis results of, of its own, but over-the-counter pain relief such as acetaminophen can relieve the symptoms. Antibiotic medication may be necessary to treat a bacterial infection. Cases of disease. Surgically removing the abnormal lymph node glands in the treatment for the localized case of man disease. Corticosteroid medications. Chemotherapy, radiation, immune therapy, and surgical intervention are treatments for multicentric case of man disease. Lymphagiomas. No medical care has been proven effective. Lymphagioma is not responsive to radiation therapy or steroids. However, propranolol represents a potential new option which may be of benefit. Lymphageoliomatosis. Pleural effusion. Consider chemical pleodosis. Surgical obliteration of pleural space. Ascites. Parasitis. Paracentesis. Airways disease and hypoxemial bronchodilators may be of benefit. Supplemental oxygen, pulmonary rehabilitation, smoking cessation, standard vaccination for respiratory infections. Standard solutions and treatments. Avoid exogenous estrogens. Lung trans transplantation. But how can you prevent these diseases? First of all, the first recommendations are to eat well, balance and in a good quantity. Make e exercise. Could be doing a sport or just jog and walk daily. Sleeping well, eight hours daily as minimum. It's a very important aspect because it is where the body can recover energies to function well and fight against pathogens. Not smoking. It is essential to avoid any kind of infections, especially lymphatic system. It is important to avoid smoking because the lymph could get obstructed by malformations that are caused by tobacco smoke. Sometimes it starts in the lymph that is inside the lungs. Treat any kind of infections rapidly. This is important to maintain our, our defenses in a good condition. Skin care. Skin is the first defense barrier, so it is essential to keep it in a good condition. Go to the doctor to check you. Call the doctor and consume the proper antibiotics predicted by the doctor at the first symptoms or pain. With these advices, you will probably not have lymphatic system diseases and will not be concerned or heavy and long treatments. With this knowledge, you are now well prepared. Hope you enjoy it.